When you're looking to start your own clothing line, finding the right blank apparel is going to be extremely important to matching your brand, the style, basically the look that you want to create. Now, if you plan to print that apparel in-house or even get it decorated for you, uh, the apparel also has a big difference on what print technologies will work and ultimately look good. You can't just go to the gas station and pick up the blank t-shirts from there or your local craft store and expect to get the same quality that you can get from blank apparel wholesalers that do this for a living and that's their core business. To deal with these blank apparel wholesalers, you're going to have to have a tax ID or an EIN number. So before you try to open up accounts, I'd recommend that you consult with a local accountant, set yourself up legitimately as a business so you can buy at wholesale prices. So with a tax ID in hand, you're ready to start researching some different options for your blank apparel line. I'd like to go through some of my recommendations. One of my favorite blank apparel wholesalers out there is Sanmar and you can reach their website just from sanmar.com. They have a very wide selection of options. Another good choice is American Apparel, SNS Activewear, Alpha Broder, or TSC Apparel. These are some of the choices that are available as blank wholesalers. Now, of course, it's important to match your t-shirt selection with the design and feel goals of your brand. So in order to navigate these websites online and really understand the difference between apparel without necessarily attending an industry trade show, it helps to know the basics of how t-shirts are talked about. And one of the biggest things is the weight of the t-shirt. So when you're searching these sites, every t-shirt in the specification should call out a weight in ounces. And now all t-shirts are weighed equally when coming out with the, the weight that they're going to put on their website. They actually take a square yard of the fabric and determine the fabric weight. So something like a 3.2 ounce is going to be a very lightweight fabric where a 7 ounce is going to be an extremely heavy fabric. So when you're looking uh, for the type of style and weight of the shirt, be sure to reference that on the website. Now, another big thing that's important is thread content. So whether the garment is manufactured and created from cotton, 100% uh, polyester, uh, a blend of fabrics is going to determine you know, how it looks, feels, and ultimately the print types. So 100% cotton is extremely uh, popular out there. And of course, if you want more of a performance look and feel to your line, uh, the more polyester content, the better to get the moisture wicking. Uh, ability, especially when you go to 100% polyester with some of the athletic lines. Um, another rising fabric that I tend to like a lot is called a tri-blend. It has cotton, polyester, and rayon in the fabric at different percentages. So you definitely want to look at thread content and what it's manufactured of to make the proper selection. Next, I want to talk about more of the quality of the thread type. So from a quality standpoint, not all cotton garments are created equal. So ultimately there's um, an open-ended carded cotton that's sort of your value cotton. Usually there'll be no special uh, notation with that particular shirt. This is an economy style. Uh, it's not going to feel as soft on the wear or to the surface to the touch as say a ring spun combed cotton, which is going to be a very smooth, soft, high quality of cotton. So if you're looking for soft, uh, look for ring spun. Ultimately, uh, some websites will call out whether it's uh, 18 singles or 20 singles, which really has to do with the thickness of the cotton fiber itself. And it's sort of like bed sheets as you go up in the count, uh, as far as 20, 30 singles, it's going to become a higher quality and softer. So take that into account as well. Now, once you have the t-shirt weight, the thread type, the quality of the thread type, the next thing we want to look at is fit. And you'll see this drawn out in the specifications, but you can have things like, of course, the neckline, the length. Um, ultimately, all of the size info should be directly on the page of any of those wholesalers. And then lastly, specifically, when you're creating a clothing line, you may want to look for a blank that has a special feature like a tearaway tag if you plan to do your own private labeling of the garment. So hopefully this helps you as you look to start that clothing line, select the right blanks, but first set up that tax ID number, order plenty of samples, and hopefully you get the selection that's right for your brand. So you want to start your own clothing line? Well, good news, we want to help you. I'm Josh Ellsworth with Stalls TV, and I know heat printing is a viable choice for printing apparel in today's market, especially for startup or online brands. So we've created a complete series of videos right here 
to help you with everything that you need to consider. Feel free to ask questions in the comments field below and good luck on starting your own t-shirt business.